Patricia's back, this time with commentaries and prophecies titled Galactic Disturbances, War, Persecution, End Times. These are commentaries and prophecies from one of my viewers named Relax Happy Time. Here we go. She numbered them, but I'm just going to read them through. Galactic disturbances. We've seen meteors, solar flares, so far. Demons will come out of their pits. These will be the most powerful ones that Satan is gathering for the last conflict between God and his people. God will restore and revive his work. He will send ministers around the world with a powerful anointing to preach the gospel for the last time. They will preach like the ancient disciples with miracles that will be very clear that God did it. There will also be unity and the Holy Spirit will be guiding, fulfilling God's plan. They will be like an army. Many will be converted by the preaching of the ministers. God will put a special love in their hearts for the needy. People who are witchcraft workers, atheists in false religions, and persecutors of God's people. Jewish rabbis also will be converted. God is beginning his work with Israel. He will humble them. Israel will be in war. The Lord will bring distress and have mercy on them. Jesus will manifest himself to them. They will see him. God will impose himself on nations where Christianity is rejected. Christians are persecuted such as China, India, Arab nations, all those countries where Christians are persecuted. God will even do miracles for Muslims so that they too will repent. Apostolic, prophetic times are coming and restoration of all things. God will crush Satan's head. The Lord says not to be entangled with the things of this world. It is all fantasy, a mirage. Satan uses it to keep you in the flesh. Do not concentrate on job loss, sicknesses, and other things that, that keep you afflicted. Stay in fast and praying, fasting and praying. Continue to seek the Lord until he can be found. The Lord says, be converted to me. I will be converted to you. The conflict in Syria will spill over the other nations. It will spill over two other nations, I mean. There will be serious problems. ISIS. God will shake the earth. There will be earthquakes in various places, tsunamis in other places. He will make man to seek him out and fear him. The Lord says, mankind will reap what they have sown. They departed from me through fables, philosophy, statistics, and they are against my principles. But soon they will see the consequences of the erring. I am God and there is no other. Light is coming for his people, for God's people that is. God is coming as a tornado. He will roar as a lion. Even children with prophecy and seeing visions. God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. God will glorify himself in widows, Orphans, weak people, ignorant, those who are despised by society. It is time to wake up and lift up the sword of the Spirit. 
Seek refuge in the Lord. And read God's word, please. God will reveal himself to those who diligently seek him out. He will. The people of God will see the nations humbled by him. God will send his angels. He will cover the earth with his glory. The Spirit says it is the time of the end. The consummation of ages has arrived. Be as the prudent virgins, because soon the call will be heard. Time to wake up, church. Amen. Now this is Patricia speaking. We really need to take this seriously. You know, we may get different types of words from different people and all that, but the bottom line is you know what you can keep and what you can throw out. And when you hear God say what he says, that's something you don't throw out. You don't take these words lightly. This woman spends time with God. Maybe more time than you do. Or maybe more time than I do. Who knows? But don't take those words and those warnings lightly. God is crying out to his people. He's desperate. Because there are going to be desperate things happening. And we're going to need to use desperate measures. And God will be the supplier of those measures. But if we're not turning to him, guess what? It's all going to fall apart for us. Only those that draw close to God through these times are going to be safe and stay safe. God bless you. I hope you hear what God is saying Hear with your heart, not just your ears, okay? God bless you.